So what is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite business slash student productivity tools that's out on the market right now and that works perfectly with any iPadOS device. I've been using PDF Elements since around 2019 when they revamped their iPadOS application and it's been my go-to PDF kind of converter, my PDF editor, my PDF kind of tool of choice for a very long time and I wanna talk about exactly why. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So ever since I graduated college, whenever that was, I think it was back in 2017 or 2016, something like that. But ever since then, I've kind of had to deal with an abundance of PDF documents, right? Whether it's for personal use, for YouTube, or for work in general. A lot of contracts in the business world come in PDF format. And then also whenever you like signing a new lease, or for instance, in my situation right now where I'm registering my dog as a certified support animal, there's a lot of documentation that needs to go out. And then at the same time, you need to sign a lot of that documentation. So that's when I realized that I needed a PDF editor in order to get all this done and get it done efficiently, right? I didn't want to print out documents, physically sign them, then have to scan them and then send them back or take a picture of them. There was just way too many ways to kind of mess up and way too many inefficiencies when it came to signing PDF documents, right? So when I was searching around, PDF Element was one of the number one recommended applications to try out. So that's what I did. Tried out PDF Element and I absolutely loved it. And one of the biggest reasons why I gravitated towards PDF Element was because of the iPad app. I do every single thing on my iPad and it's not really by design when it comes to going paperless. Like I didn't make a conscious effort to actually be like, hey, I'm not gonna use regular paper anymore. I'm gonna go straight to the iPad, but you, dealing with documents and I guess paper on the iPad itself just makes life so much easier in order to get stuff done and get it done efficiently. And also anyone that follows this channel consistently knows that I do pretty much everything on my iPad and do as much as I can on my iPad Pro. So having an application that was built for the iPad Pro and also built to be used with the Apple Pencil was so, so key. Like it still baffles me that in 2021 going into 2022, that applications like the Google Suite, like the whole Google Suite of applications does not recognize the Apple Pencil. And I just, I don't get it, it baffles me. So whenever I get documents sent over or shared with me on a Google Drive or in Google Slides where I need to annotate it, the main thing that I wanna do is annotate with my Apple Pencil. And that literally cannot be done with the Google Suite of applications. So being able to use PDF Element and their iPadOS dedicated app has been an absolute game changer. So I just wanna highlight three quick things that make PDF Element just kind of my PDF editor of choice. And the first thing is gonna be the single click sign, right? So when you go into PDF Element and you open up your first PDF document, you wanna click on the little signature button to actually put a signature in. It's gonna ask you to either use your finger or your Apple Pencil to create a signature. And then once that's done, every single time you need to sign a document, all you do is you press that button and then you get the one click signature imported into that PDF document that you need. So that's absolutely amazing. And like I said earlier in the video, we're currently in the process of registering my dog as a support animal and that involves a lot of documentation and it's all done with PDFs, right? So PDFs to sign off on your dog, being able to sign off that you need that animal as a support animal. There's a bunch of different things that go into it. And PDF Element has kind of helped me out with that, right? All I do is basically the PDFs get sent to my email, which I use Spike Mail for, and then I save it onto my iCloud. Then I import it right into PDF Element, and right then and there, I can start to sign everything. And also some documents that I need to maybe highlight some things, because I need to send over documentation about my dog in PDF format of all the different vaccinations he's gotten, all the shots that he's gotten. It's like having a freaking child. But being able to like underline, highlight, and show off that like, hey, his shot is good until 2023. Make sure you see that and you don't make me go out and get another shot for him. But things like that just make it very, very easy to communicate with PDF Element and their editor. So that is the number one thing. It's a single sign-on. And then second to that is all the annotation features, which we're gonna get into in a little bit. So the second biggest reason why I've been liking PDF Element is the scanning and then the annotation elements that they have in there. So yes, currently with iOS and iPadOS, you can natively scan documents into the Files app, which works great. Like absolutely works amazingly. If that's the only way that you want to do it, by all means, go for it. But there is a scanner inside of the PDF Element app, which allows you to scan a document and then have it import directly into PDF Element and then go away and start annotating everything you need. So whenever I'm dealing with work documentation, because I work in the marketing world, so being able to share that and then fill out forms at the same time and then send it all in one easy kind of workflow. Like I used to hate the days when you have to print something out, then actually with pen and paper, write stuff down, you know, check off boxes and then rescan it and then kind of make sure that it's tied into like your Microsoft Outlook and then send it out. This is so easy, you can easily just scan the document, annotate it on the iPad, and then share it however you see fit directly from PDF Element. And then lastly, one of the biggest things about PDF Element is just the UI and the simplicity of it. 
Like in my opinion, anybody, and I mean anybody, so somebody who's techie like me, or maybe even somebody like that's an engineer and knows way more than anybody else, and just for the average person that wants to like scan their utility bill and put it in a file on their computer just so they have a record of it, right? Everything is so easy and so logically laid out that anybody can just pick it up quickly and start to use it, right? The biggest things you need to know are the plus button to be able to scan documents and add folders and import documents from the folders application. And then after that, it's just the editor itself. You have the little pen button to change your different fonts, change how thick the font is, change the color of your font. And then you have the signature, you have the signature button, which is very out in the open. So all of these things are kind of just in your face and it's very easy to use. Versus something like maybe on the Apple side, if you go to the files, you have to like know exactly where to go. You have to press on the three dots to scan a document or hold down on an empty space in the files app, which is kind of hidden from a lot of people versus PDF element. Everything is like there, it's out in the open. And again, it's just very easy to use. And then finally, I do have like an honorable mention feature, which is just a converter, right? So once you're done with your annotation, once you're done with your PDF, once you're done with your document, you can then convert those files into pretty much anything, right? You can convert into a Word document, you can convert into an Excel document, you can convert it into a PowerPoint. So you can convert it to anything on the Microsoft Suite side. You can also convert it into anything on the iWork side. So you can natively convert it from a PDF document into a pages document, and then the list goes on, right? So the built-in converter is super, super helpful, especially if you have a document, you wanna scan it, put it into a Word file, and then start editing that file. It's an amazing thing to see. So overall, PDF element gets my vote if you guys do wanna download it. And, the, and one of the best things about it is that there is a free version of it. So yes, they do have some paid features and there are some limitations to the free one, but if you just need like a PDF scanner and something to annotate PDFs very quickly, I don't know any other free PDF editor with this much capability like out in the open. So overall, I love PDF Element. If you guys do wanna check it out, I'll link it down in the description below. So definitely give it a look. But that is pretty much gonna do for this video, everybody. Like I mentioned, I absolutely love PDF Element. I love their PDF editor. I exclusively use it on the iPad Pro, but they do have a desktop version for Mac OS and Windows. And then I sometimes use it on my iPhone to scan documents kind of on the go. Cause I know if I scan documents on my iPhone, it'll show up in my folders in PDF Elements kind of folder structure on my iPad Pro as well. So if you guys are in school, if you guys are out in the world, if you guys deal with PDF documents, if you need to scan a lot of stuff, in my opinion, look no further than the PDF element, everybody. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Leave some comments down below. What do you guys think of PDF editors in general? Do you guys just use the free tools online where they kind of give you low res conversions and things like that? Because that's what I used to use. Or do you use kind of the native applications that are built into the iPad? Or do you use something else? Like I know that Microsoft has a great version. Like I know that Microsoft Office has a version of that as well, but you need to be a subscriber of the Microsoft Suite to use it. So let me know in the comments below. Always curious to know, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace. We out.